Hey, my name is Chris Mead, and I'm the owner of Mr. Value Electrician. Today we're going to talk about grounding and how it helps your electrical system. Surge protectors need a grounding system to disperse the surge outside quickly. Your breakers will trip quicker with the solid connection to the ground. Plus, it helps prevent you from being shocked. It will also help prevent your pipes from ever becoming energized. Depending upon the age of your home will determine how your home is grounded. Homes built after 2008 utilize what's called a UFER ground, which is where your main ground wire will actually connect to the rebar that is located in the concrete slab. Next we have the metal water line, which comes in from the water meter at the street and connects inside to the house. It's very common in homes built prior to 1990 to only utilize the main water line as the source of ground. It becomes a hazard when the water line is replaced with PVC, leaving the home ungrounded, which is why we install ground rods. In existing homes, we'll install two 8-foot tall ground rods. The hardest part about driving a ground rod is when we have to drive it through a rock. If the water line coming in is metal, then we'll run two ground wires. One wire will run to the two 8-foot ground rods, the other will run to the water line. Then we'll connect the wires to the electrical system. We want to ensure that the phone and cable is tied in with the new grounding system, so we'll install an inner system grounding bridge. We bury the ground wire, leaving the ground rod flush with the ground for future inspection. If you're unsure if your home is properly grounded, give us a call and we'll send one of our Mr. Value electricians out to your home.